my top 10 units of a uh, of 2022, so it's gonna be pretty lit. Basically, my favorite top 10 units that released in that year, even though every unit I pulled was new, obviously. So the list starts at units that released from January 1st on global specifically. So these could be J units that dropped on JP, you know, like a little bit uh, in 2021, but again, starts at global 2022 and global 2020 to the end. You know what I mean? That's kind of like the time frame that it's gonna be. Uh, oh, and it is uh, LRs and uh, LRs and Dokkan Fest. Dokkan Fest banner units, basically, yeah. LRs. I, there, there's, there's, this is a good list. I promise. It's a good list. It's not just cheese and lame. I promise. It's a little. There, there's some. There's some hitters in here for sure. Um, but all right, let's go ahead and hop into this though. Top ten units of the year. All right. Um, let me see here. All right. So yeah, first one that we got here is. Uh, Okay, so let me let me start with this. So we're, I do have three that are just contenders. The first three, the first three runner-ups, starting with Chaditz. I had to put him on the list because he is actually a sick unit. All right, and I have reasonings behind this. All right, so he's a meme, right? Chaditz is badass. He, these are the three runner-ups. Okay, these are not in the top ten. These are the three runner-ups that I had to just mention. All right, he's a meme. It was fucking hilarious when he dropped. This is this is going from ten to first, by the way. No, 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 this is, this is first three, and then we're gonna go from bottom up on the list, alright? So, but here's the thing, though, here's the thing, though, here's the thing, though. A real talk, though. My first world tournament that I did, because I had to BS through it and figure it out, like, no shit, he actually carried me. My Broly's weren't farmed up yet, and I kind of delayed myself, I kind of, like, took forever to actually do it, but I had chat it, and he actually carried me, I'm not gonna lie. So he's a runner-up on the list. I had to, I had to mention him. You know what I mean? I, I, I tried to set this up as best I can. So bear with me. This is my other runner-up uh, runner unit, which I again, this is why I mentioned. It. I think this guy dropped in JP 2021, but he is a 2022 global unit. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure I double-checked it. And uh, man, Gohan and Trunks, dude, definitely one of my favorite units, man. I wish their defense was a little better, as we learned, dude. But holy crap, this uh, Future Gohan's also one of my favorite Gohans in the game as well. Not to mention, so. That's another reason that he's one of my favorites. So, again, runner-up. Couldn't put him in the top 10 because, man, imagine when he easy A's. But his revive is insane, dude. He's got amazing R as well. He's just so sick, bro. This should be the only one who is the 2021 unit on JP unless you the androids on here. Which No, 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 androids are not on here, no. And, yeah, again, another thing to mention, these are mostly units that I have. I mean, they're all units that I have. So if you know my box, you know. My second favorite unit dropped this year. My least favorite is GT Pan. Yeah, I looked at GT Pan and like I, I thought she was gonna be better, but she was a little bit of a disappointment. But she isn't bad. You know what I mean? She's not bad, but I wanted more. She'll be better when we get other units, I imagine, though, right? But yeah, runner up number two. Dude is revived too. It's just so clean, man. All of it's so good. Well, I can't. Oh, let's go, dude. Finish Zenkai Yellow. Is he actually good, bro? I don't use anything but the LFs, man. I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of sad. Oh, and also shout out to Dokkan World for all this. I, I, I obviously, as you can tell, these are not my clips. His revive, though, dude. It's just all so good, man. He's just so clean. When this unit easy A's, bro, it's gonna be insane. He just needs defense, as we saw in one of our runs recently. He just needs defense, bro. Oh, future Gohan, dude. So sick. Oh, she's all, she's fallen off, dude. That's so sad. Easy A's don't count. No, no, no. I'm not counting easy A's. These are units that released. Yeah, literally units that released in the year of 2022. Exactly. So yeah, awesome unit. Couldn't put him in the couldn't put him in the very top, but shouldn't be a surprise. And he again, like I wanted to put these guys in the top 10, but they got outshined. But I had to mention them. Yo, Kai, welcome in. Appreciate the follow. Uh, but yeah. Janemba LR. Oh man, dude. He's so sick, bro. So sick. Now, if LR Cooler didn't drop, who knows if I would have even put him on here at all if, he, if I even used him. LR Cooler obviously has a lot to do this guy with this guy, but Janemba, dude, this is again. These are the three contenders that I, I couldn't squeeze into the top 10, but bro, he was right there. He's right there. He was almost in there. He's so good, dude. His art is amazing. Nullification. His rage mode is also like the first ever rage mode that I've actually used, so... 
You might disagree with this placement. Okay, I guess that should be another disclosure. That should be another disclosure. Relax, relax. Everyone calm down. Uh, disclosure. This is all opinionated. This is my favorite units of 2022. My favorite units. Mr. Wobble Wobbles. Not even just based off of strength, but just based off of characters and animations alone. And, like, strength as well, for sure. But, again, this is my list. Now, you know, just keep this in mind. I actually was thinking about doing, like, a community voting with, you know, the list of units that released as well this year. So, if you guys want to do something like that, we definitely can. Maybe see if Janemba spikes up there. You never know, right? <laughs> oh, this is going to make you guys so mad. <laughs> You guys are already mad that Janemba's, uh... <laughs> oh, God, this is gonna make you guys so mad. Hold up. Here he is. My, uh... My next... My my first slot top 10 unit, number 10, is Jocko. He beat Janemba. He beat Janemba on the list. That's all we've got to show for him. Jocko is my number 10 out of 10 slot. Alright? I'm sorry, I had to do it. Jocko is amazing, dude. The fact that Dokkan released a unit with a kit like they did on a character like Jocko just makes me so freaking happy, dude. Like, honestly, right? Like, like he's so cracked, bro. Seriously, where is he? Hold on. Dude, he does so much. He's so good for who he is. Like, he's such a dope unit. He's got the pose. He's so clean, bro. He's so good. And I have, I, he's on movies, man. He's just so good, bro. Don't hulk out on me. You forgot he even existed? Yeah, I mean, he's on the movies team, man. So, you know, he's got the he, the evade and stuff. He's got the support. Jocko's number 10. I, I didn't realize you guys were going to get so upset about Janemba, so then I realized how upset you'd get about this. So, yeah, here he is. <laughs> Limit breakers? All right, no, dude. I'm not trolling that hard. All right, next up, number 9 out of 10. I shall take on the challenge. If you insist on Gamma the freaking 1, dude. Come on. This unit is a monstrosity, bro. He's so good. He's cracked. He's got the entrance animation. He's so good. He's got, oh, the nullification is so clean, bro. Number 9 out of 10, Gamma 1. So clean, bro. I wish, okay, so I wish he had a KO screen. I feel like that would have made me place him higher because Gamma 2 got the KO screen and he didn't, so that makes me a little sad. But he does so much damage, and you guys, you guys know, he's a monster. Why is he so early? Bro, there's that many good units that, that this year, bro. It's insane. Hopping into the next unit. What are we on? Eight now? Eight out of ten. The Revival Han Bird Coup. Clean as hell. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, and they didn't have music on the English one, so here we are in JP, which is fine. So good, bro. Not to mention the unit is absolutely cracked as uh, I'm sure everyone knows these guys as kits so I don't even need to get into how good these units are um, but like I do the classic golden yellow Goku just got me bro when I saw that it's just so like how do you not own this unit man for movies for Super Saiyans like oh my god dude bird Koo is just dude, his revive is so good his music his animations are so good bro so clean man bird Koo is number eight Oh, so he's just, he's just, he works on so many teams, you know. One of the year sevens are at four, have to be. Ooh, interesting. Hold on, let me count. Ooh, remember that, remember that, Kelp. You might be right, who knows. But anyways, Bird Koo. Let's watch all, obviously want to watch all their animations and stuff. Super attack. I've been, I've been through a lot with Bird Koo. I love him, I love him. One of the year seven part two LRs. Well, if you're talking about EZA, oh, like Goku and Vegeta. Hmm. Peter, you are all over the place. <laughs> Zamasu number one central saying. Oh shit. You guys need to remember what you're what you're saying so we can go back and look. But yeah. Oh, his and then his active and the KO screen. When I was watching these back and I'll set another playlist, I saw the KO screen again and I'm like, oh yeah. Bird coup, bro. I love this guy. Uh, but all right, do I have it on autoplay? I don't think I do. Yeah, everything about him is amazing. He's so clean. So many teams, just everything is so good. KO screen is so clean. Just all of it. For next up, number seven, we have Metal Cooler LR. Chila. <laughs> Funny enough, I thought about it, but no. Not enough teams for her to be on the list. 
You were gonna guess him for seven? Here he is, number seven, Metal Cooler. Y'all know he's amazing. Y'all know he's cracked. He's one of the, oh, he's my first and only reviving extreme unit. Minus Vegeta, who I didn't even realize was an extreme unit, and I don't even have farmed up yet. LR, Vegeta, into Goku. Anyways, my only extreme, extreme reviving unit. Love his free-to-play team. So good, his free-to-play team. Um, he's just such a clean unit. And his, I think it's his active skill OST is one of my favorites in the game. So good. It goes so hard. Also, let me know if volume is good for you guys. Let me lower it a little. Oh my god, the shatter. Oh, the nullification is so good too, bro. The nullification, when I saw this for the first time. Oh my god, dude. Chills. Actual chills. Metal Cooler at number 7. Yeah, he's just so clean. And remember, some of these units I don't have. Like, just for example, while I'm looking at them, the Super Saiyans, I don't have. So I didn't even consider putting them on the list, you know. If I actually own these units, eh, they might not have actually made it on based off their kit. But anyways, Revive. So good. So good. But his active skill is where I was like, oh yeah. Love the active skill, man. It's the same as AGL Metal Coolers. Oh, really? I don't think I have AGL Metal Cooler. I mean, this is like my first ever Metal Cooler, besides the free-to-plays, so... You see that? Let's go, let's go. Here it is, though, dude. Dude, when this would go off, and then I would have, like, STR Cooler attacking to this OST, I was like, I love Extreme Units. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, so heat. This JP voice is so good, by the way. But there it is, number seven, Metal Cooler LR. Such a good unit, so happy I got him. No, ROF gods are not next, no. <laughs> number six is the seven years, I'm calling it. You think I would put the seven, the year, wait. No, you think I would put them in number six, Peter? Shame. Shame. You guys are all wrong. All of you are wrong. It's Piccolo. Of course it's Piccolo, dude. I put him higher up on the list, but I had to drop him after a little bit. Because I'm like, he is a newer unit. He is a newer unit. But I had to, bro. I, he was higher on the list. He was higher on the list. But after rearranging him, I'm like, Piccolo at six because of this, all right? He broke the fucking game. And like, he, he's so broken and like, he should be higher, but at the same time, if this is just based off of characters and animations and like music, like his, his intro is one of my favorites. He's, <laughs> no one was guessing that. You guys thought he'd be higher or what? Just threw him at a dartboard? Okay, but I'm not rating that. Just a, a, again, clarification. I'm not saying this guy's the fifth best unit in the game. I'm just saying my top favorite OSTs, just moments in Doke on my personal favorite characters and units, bro. You thought he'd be three? Ah, oh, dude. I can't wait to do this community poll. Now I that now and now we have to do this community poll. I will be setting that up tonight, guys, and dropping it in the Discord. But yes, pickle at number six. Um, again, if that doesn't go to show how personal of a list this is. Stop hating. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Oh, and uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, I will be uploading this before. What, like the? If you're watching this on YouTube and it's been out for a day or two, the the voting should still be up, and I'll have a link in the description as well, so we can get as many votes in as we can, you know. Oh, well, there he is, number five. His active skill got me, bro, and his his ultra. Those are my top two favorite things about him. His intro is so clean. Again, his kit would have put him even higher on the list if he was better. But man, he's just such a clean unit, bro. Active kit, yeah, active music got me. The piano gives me chills every time. The KO screen, all of it, bro. This is so good. His notification, clean as fuck. This intro to his ultra, come on. So good, bro. His card art, we're not even looking at the card art, so I'm like going through this because of the stupid autoplay on accident. But the card art, let's not forget, card art is so clean. I'll probably be putting it up on the screen as I'm editing. Card art is one of the best in the game, if not the best. 
I want to include card arts in this, but again. Intro time, though. Oh my god. Dude. The piano. Oh, dude. Oh my god. He could have stayed transformed after, but I love him how he is. KO screen. So clean. So clean, dude. Alright, I'm gonna not let it autoplay. We're learning. We're learning. We're learning. Oh, but anyways, yeah. Pretty sick, right? Pretty sick. They did not mess up the active skill? No. No, they did not. They went hard on that. Again, his kit could have been a lot better, but everything else is so good, dude. Kelp made a Kelp made a call earlier. He said that at the slot number four. I didn't even realize that I did this. I didn't even realize that I did this. Slot number four is none other than the, the Super Bring Saiyan fours, off, dude. I didn't even realize that I put the fours in slot four, but here they are. Number four. Before we get into the top three, we have Goku and Vegeta. And you know what? Not gonna lie. I almost put these guys at like five or six. I almost put them at five or six, right under Go Gohan and Piccolo. But then I realized that we need to take, we, we can't take for granted the fact that these guys transform and stay as Gogeta. Like that, I didn't realize how much of a, how much of a luxury that is in Dragon Ball today. How cool that is, apparently. <laughs> like we can't get that in any game or outside of any other character, but whatever. Like, on top of animations, on top of card, on top of being cracked, on top of music, he stays as Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, and that was like, yeah, he needs to go up on the list. He's so good. He's so good. Favorite unit in Dokkan all time, Peter? I, I, I almost, I, I had to slap myself a little for putting him too low, almost, you know? But here he is, number four, Super Saiyan 4s, and we can't forget Gogeta himself, dude. Because he's neither none of them. Oh my god, dude. Oh man. But yeah, get your guesses as now for the top three coming up soon. Tech gods for three. Zomasu for two. Cooler for one. <laughs> Hazardous. That is so funny to read that. Oh, his counter? Come on. Come on. This is one of the best units in Dokkan. If this guy's not in your top five, you must not own him. <laughs> I'm sorry. Or you're on JP because... There are some pretty sick units on JP right now. But anyways, <laughs> if this guy's not in your top five, I'm sorry. There's something wrong with you. Uh, I'll, I'll be pausing it before we get into it, but yeah, so good. You agree with Hazardous. So you guys think the next one is the tech god bros. That's wild. Then Zamasu, then Cooler for one. That's hilarious. Yo, get I, okay, we can do a prediction. Uh, we can't though because it's hard to do like an order like that here. We'll do our number one right now. All right We'll set up a prediction after this active skill, but oh my god, dude this active skill is so good And then oh wait, here's the active skill here. It is Cover the music Oh my god Ultra big bang. Oh, dude, it's so good Kamehameha, dude, that is so, like, come on. So good, so good. All right, so let's not let's not jump ahead. Let me set up a prediction, because this will actually be fun, because we're getting into the top three now, and, uh, I mean, you guys are literally guessing the last units in the game, so we'll just guess. We'll do a prediction for who's number one. I think that's a good way to do it. Okay, here we go. So I can see the people still, though. So five people voted Zamasu. Here we go. This shows the people. Five people voted Zamasu. Three people voted Cooler. Two people voted for Tech God Bros. So a lot of you think it was Zamasu is my number one. All right, let's hop into it. I'll do the, I'll give you, I'll give out the points at the end. All right. Oh my God. All right. At number three, we have none other than Cooler himself. Now, he, again, this is top three. Like, these guys are almost, these guys are almost neck and neck, basically, right? Top three units in the game for me. My favorite units of 2022, but oh man, like I, I almost had him at number two, but you guys, you guys know who the top two units are already. Like, bro, it, here's the thing, right? If it did come down to the kits, if it did come down to the kits, 
Nah, cooler's still insane. It doesn't matter. Like, this is just like, oh man, there's nothing to say. There's nothing to say. Number three is cooler. Everything about him's amazing. He's a monster. He can do nothing for you if he wants, but or he can do everything in the world. 12 million crits and stuff on his active. It's ridiculous, bro. <laughs> Noobs upset. I'm so excited to see this community voting. Um, but yeah, there it is. Oh, and his active screen or his KO screen, so clean, bro. So clean. Zama, you guys can cry. You guys can cry. But again, I'm not even hating. Like, what if? How would you guys have felt if he was where Janemba was or something? All right. But anyways, here he is, number two. Dude, come on. How do you not put this guy? In your top, he, he was almost number one. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. He was almost number one. But then I remember where I came from. But we'll get into that. Number two. Zamasu. Come on, dude. This is the best unit. Like, come on, dude. Like, this guy is like everything, bro. Chills. My mo my most anticipated unit of the year when I started playing Dragon Ball Dokkan during Year Seven on Global. He was releasing on JP, so I've been waiting six months for him, and I got him, and like, so much, bro. Best OST, best in- one of the best intros, one, uh, amazing act at, like, bro. He's so cracked, like, once he gets more insane teams, he, he has good teams, I like the Patara team that he's on, but... Oh, dude, I haven't never even seen his nullification. <laughs> Holy shit, that's so clean, but here he is. Zama suit. Oh, it's ultra. Dude, it's so clean. But there you go, guys. Zama suit for number two. I'm sorry he beat Cooler. Again, I, the top three are so neck and neck. And if you're just tuning in now, once again, these are my units, my top three. I'm not saying he's better than Cooler, because he's, he's honestly not better than Cooler. But man. <sighs> yeah, well, we'll get into that, Kelp. We'll, we'll get into that, right? But here he is. Zamasu, number two. Everything about him is perfect. I love him. I love him. I love him. He's so good. But all right. Oh, that KO screen is so good. All right. There it is, though. Number one unit of 2022. The God Bros themselves. The Super Saiyan God Bros into, or Super, what, Super Saiyan God into Super Saiyan Blue, whatever. Bro. They're, do you want to know? I have a they're, they're my favorite on so many levels. They're cracked. Their music's so good. Their art is amazing. They transform. And honestly, they 100% have... Yeah, they have the best... I think it's the active skill music, specifically. That is my favorite in the game, 100%. When that active skill music starts going off, no matter what, I am hyped, bro. When that... When, oh my god, dude. No matter what's going on in the game, it's so good. Um, and I almost put them lower, but like, they were one of my first units on here. When I when I got into the Legends, they were like one of my first LFs that was released at the time as well. So it just felt so perfect. But, dude, this music, come on. Play this at my funeral, please. Clip it now. Send it to my lawyer. This is the best song I've heard in my life, dude. It's so good. And when this is going off in game, and you're like clutching against Shenron and Broly, like bro, the, the clutches we had to this music, and like, <sighs> what a great year, man. What a great year. And it all started with these guys, really. It really did. This is the, no way, dude. It's so good. And then the beat drop, dude. Oh, it's so good, man. <laughs> Once again, you guys can call it hot takes, whatever, whatever. I'm not saying they're better. I'm not saying this is the placements of who's better than who. All I'm saying is these are my these are my top ten favorite units in the game. This is how I, I went through the units. I watched these beforehand, and this is how I ranked them, bro. This is how I ranked them. Not saying anyone's better than anyone else, but... And their kits did play a role in it, for sure. Like I said, there's some units that could have been placed higher if they were a little better, etc., etc., but come on. How do you end it with any better than this, dude? Like, come on, dude. Um, but once again, for the millionth time, community voting, I will have a link in Discord if you're curious about that. Uh, definitely check that out. Would love to see your guys' opinions because apparently my takes are extremely hot, so. <laughs> but there you have it, boys. I knew it was going to surprise you. I didn't think it was going to be that surprising. Let me go ahead and choose outcome, by the way. Sorry. 
Tech God Bros is my number one. You'll love to see it. The underdog's taking the dub, dude. These are the, starting from the top, these three are my contenders, top three contenders. We had Raditz, Gohan, Janemba, and then, yeah. Oh, and then some of these are a little messed up because it was like mixes of the videos. But anyways, this was Jocko, not the ROF Blues. This is Jocko. Uh, this is Gamma 1. And then, as you know, this is Bird Coup, Cooler, Piccolo, Gohan, Super Saiyan 4s, uh, Cooler, Zamasu, and then the Blue Boys. You love to see it, man. But yeah, sorry if you don't like the hot takes. I had a great time with all the units. And again, a lot of it was like, a lot of it was like what happened throughout the year with the units. A lot of it was, a lot of it was just the characters themselves, just period the music um their kits played a small role for sure but i didn't let that take advantage as you know as you saw with piccolo like come on he he, he literally broke the game and is the best character in the game and is so clean and all but i just took his brokenness out of it and i'm like yeah no i like gohan just a hair better this list was so hard to make i'm sorry dude for me it was so hard to make